Good morning, happy Monday. It's meditation Monday. And uh, yes, it's sunny in the woods this morning and very beautiful. The birds are singing, start of a new week. And uh, I've noticed some very interesting changes in the energy recently and also received some um, a very distinctive message. Now, normally I would wait until Friday until the full ascension update to kind of you know bring forth the well, what what I see as and perceive as the ascension news but because this was <clears throat> so distinctive and so in, uh, it it was it was presented to me as being quite imperative and bearing that in mind what I've also done to basically give everybody a nice start to the week bring the right energy and I have pre-recorded one of my meditations which is the golden rainbow fire it's an invocation that i used during one of my live workshops a zoom workshop it's about 15 minutes long and it's going to be included with this video as an mp4 download so instead of me going through it live this morning i've i've taken something a bit larger so it's not so much a walking meditation it's a you're gonna to have to sit down with a crystal and do it kind of meditation unless you want to unless you're listening to it live we are driving along so the little bit of time that I've got this morning for this video I'd like to explain a little bit about how this energy change has been presented to me so over the week weekend Easter weekend <coughs> we kind of received this huge download of light or almost the way it's been described to me as a new operating platform now I spoke about this on Friday about how it is so high frequency and so such a big step up to what we were working with previously it's almost like we have to completely readjust how we interact with it how we integrate with our reality so just very quickly what I'm going to say is I, I was shown a dream where I was talking to a very good friend of mine and I was basically her job is to have one foot in both worlds so dealing with 3d reality and bringing it into 5d reality and finding a balance or an equilibrium now i know a lot of us are doing this at the moment it's almost impossible not to have one foot in the old reality and a one fit foot in the new one because we're balancing we're alchemizing we're bringing the best of what we have in 3d and building with it in 5d so this is you know where we are in this in this transitional window at the moment is a very finely tuned balance and just as we think we're finding that balance just as we think we found some level ground the platform changes again and we have to step up and we have to adjust now the way that i was shown what is going on at the moment in in the kind of the in the 3D world, the very kind of the the oppressive kind of fear-based stuff that we are we hear from the news, the <clears throat> the government, the social control, all of the rest of it, and many of us are aware of this kind of what appears to be kind of like a global plot to to bring everything into into a state of of, of control, and of course we know that this is just simply a catalyst for the wake up the, the the huge wake up i mean agreed it might continue to be this way on a 3d timeline there might be a small percentage of souls that have actually signed up who wish to continue their incarnation under this degree of control and subjugation but for us we're creating a new timeline and we're building that as we speak as we move into it this is a very solid very profound and very grounded space now and the 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 completely unique thing about this is we are in we are interacting and integrating with two every day depending on how our vibration is what our thoughts are what our points of focus are what we are choosing to manifest in our reality but the whole point of this and see where i'm going now is that i was told that on our on our level of reality the third dimensional energy or the one that you know the one that we can see and is so clearly obvious to us now is beginning 
with the application of the new high frequency energies, it's actually beginning to, I think the way it's described to me is corrode or disintegrate. There is an active alchemy that is occurring that is almost, it's, it's like a controlled demolition. But that controlled demolition where we are rising in frequency and that is staying the same and disintegrating, it's becoming increasingly, the only word to describe it is toxic for us. So the, if we're integrating with it, if we're taking it on, if we're actually having it absorbed into our bodies and fields on, on a daily basis, it has a much, it, it, it's more hard, it's more difficult for us to clear, it's more tricky for us to navigate through. So I was shown very clearly to be very distinct and very, and, and, and basically, if, we, if we're having to interact with it like, like we do, there's, there's you know, I'm, I'm going to be realistic here. There's no, like, we can't just bury our heads in the clouds and pretend nothing's occurring. We, ha we have, we're, we're, we're constantly moving between the two. But to be more vigilant with ourselves, okay, so if we do have to immerse ourselves in that 3D reality for whatever reason, when we move out of it again, it's a little bit like washing your hands after going to the bathroom or changing your clothes if you've been out on a very muddy walk and you, you wouldn't walk into your kitchen with muddy boots on, would you? Well, if, if I did, I'd, I'd, get, <laughs> I'd get burnt at the stake for it. But for most of us, we, we take, if, if we have got covered in dirt or we have got something on our clothes, which is, or on our skin, which is not normal, we wash it off. And that's very much like the, that, that's the way I've been shown to deal with this energy now this might sound this might sound like old news but it's the distinctions becoming more clear now okay so when we remove ourselves from whatever these situations are or if we've been having to integrate with them we take extra care of our own energy physically mentally emotionally and spiritually because where we have risen in frequency these vibrations are now, we're becoming more reactive to them. So you might have noticed like an increase in ascension symptoms or what, what we describe it, you know, ascension symptoms is this vast pool of things that, you know, we can do, you can have an achy neck and it can be an ascension symptom. You can, you know, you could have something wrong with your feet or your knees or your, your muscles can be aching. And if there's no physical you know if you can't spot or identify a reason for it then you know most of us assume it's down to the energies that we're integrating well this is actually becoming a real thing at the moment so we could easily take on something that we don't think about at the time but like you know half an hour to an hour later it starts to make us feel nauseous or our mood changes or something registers within our emotional fields and the more aware that we are of this the easier our, our pathway will become so you know this this is something that I've been guiding since the beginning of last year since the beginning of 2020 is make sure that our focus is high pure and clear make sure that our vibrations and our frequencies are as high as we can possibly manage them and it requires spiritual discipline because it's very easy to go through our days just you know we start off with good intentions and by lunchtime or mid-afternoon it's kiboshed because we're humans on her <laughs> you know but at this moment in time the more we're interacting the more we're engaging with it the more our intention is flowing in a low frequency direction the more it is going to affect us and this has been made very very obvious to me it's, it's something that we are just simply for our own benefit, for the ease of all the work that we are here to do on this planet, to take, to just to be more very vigilant with it, because over the next few months, it's going to be, this is going to increase as this controlled demolition or this change in frequencies and vibrations and this disintegration on our timeline of this old blueprint, it becomes corrosive almost, okay? So these are the words that are given to me. I'm sure that I'll have more information for you by Friday. So I hope you all enjoy the MP4 meditation that I'm going to include with this. It's about 15 minutes long. It's the golden rainbow fire and it will be a perfect start to the week because if you're using the violet flame in whatever form, golden rainbow fire, 
violet flame, cosmic diamond violet flame, lilac fire of source, or any of the other beautiful alchemical energies that we have available to us in abundance, then this, this, this is the way forward. This is what these tools are for, to make our jobs and our lives a lot easier during this transition. So sending you all loads of love. Hope you have a beautiful start to the week and I will catch up with you again on Friday. Bye for now.